Hi guys, this is Mrs. Heisenbottle, and right now uh, we're working with our um, <laughs> our ultrasonic rangefinders, which have been kind of a challenge. So I just kind of wanted to go through it. Here's the basic idea of how they're supposed to work, so that it bounces sound off an object, and you can see it's bouncing off my hand. And then as the sound comes up and bounces off, it comes back down, and that's how it can tell how far away something is. So notice if I put my hand way up high, nothing, but I put my hand down lower and I can run the motor. And I've got it set for about six inches. So let me show you what that looks like in code. So I'm over here and this is the example code. I just went up to file open examples and went and got the rangefinder code. That's the first thing you need to do because you have to be able to read the range on the brain, which as you can see in my video here, I can do. I can see the range. It gives it to me in both inches and millimeters. Then I just basically put in a simple conditional statement. If the rangefinder sees something within six inches, it should turn on that motor and it does. So as you can see, it does work, but it is gonna take some time. Remember that when you plug it in, you've got both an output and an input here. The output gets plugged into the first spot and the input gets plugged into the second spot. So remember when you do that, uh, when you're plugging it in, you need two spots. They need to be right next to each other, output first, then input. And what it looks like when you set it up is something like this. So I have mine set up in C and D. It doesn't matter where you put them, they just have to be two together, okay, to make this work so that you can actually get your rangefinder to read correctly. If you're having trouble with your rangefinder, like you're reading it and it reads, but only every once in a while, you might have a loose connection. I've noticed that with a couple of mine. You gotta kinda wiggle the wires, you gotta plug and unplug them, try them in a different port. They're a little fiddly, no two ways about it. And on more than a couple of mine, I've had to actually unscrew the back, take it off, open it up, and there's mesh over the top of these little sensors. And I've discovered that if uh, a kid pushes those that mesh down on top of the sensor, it screws everything up. So I've had to go in and reshape the mesh to try and get stuff working. And that has worked pretty well, uh, but just be careful with them and make sure when you're using them, you're protecting them so they don't get bashed into, like, you don't want the rangefinder hitting the wall and bashing into it because they are a little fiddly and a little delicate and they will break. So that's how the whole system looks and that's how you get your rangefinders to work with Vex V5.